I'm Jed Milton from Taupo, New Zealand, and I'm a BMX rider. So my world's first this tour is the double barrel roll. The idea for the double barrel roll came about just playing around in the foam pit with friends at the Franklin farm. It just kind of, when we're having a good session, things just escalate, and I've done barrel rolls for quite a while, and it's a neat feeling, and since we've got the facility to go a lot bigger than normal, um, it kind of just provokes those types of things to happen. Jed actually like super surprised me. I did not expect him to throw a double barrel roll. I've never even seen anyone try that or think to try that. And to see him just randomly pull it out in a show, I was like gobsmacked. The trials and tribulations to the trick, I crashed twice in the best trick comp. Went through my head of why I was crashing and I was going too big and I was over rotating. So I just slowed the whole thing down and it came around perfect. just kind of came about having fun, just going through some different rotations. So what better stage to do your first one than your first show back at Nitro Circus. Here we go, he's dropping in. What's he got for us tonight? He wants worldies. He's salivating for it. Yo! Double underflip from Jed Milden, trying to throw tables in there. Give me the replay. Absolutely under, under. We call them barrel rolls, some call them blunt rollers. I call it marvellous. Give it up for the man from New Zealand. Just stopped a double barrel roll. I believe it's the first one in the world. Yes! Jed's double barrel roll doesn't make sense. To actually even do a single barrel roll, going that off axis, coming around, straightening it up, doesn't make sense. How do you do that twice? Yeah, I mean, you know, why not progress it, you know, and go from one to two? It's kind of how the sport works, so. Nothing like good old nitro encouragement. <laughs> So Jed Milden, I first heard about Jed when he first did the triple backflip. Um, he's kind of been the leader in obviously doing the triple flip and the quad flip, which took him over a year to do. I've seen a few other crazy things from Jed that we still haven't yet seen. We're actually like at quite a real special stage of like these sports because to think that 30 years ago, you know, when you started riding a bike, that you'd be in a position at this, this stage of life to be still creating. It's quite an invigorating, like really, it's a really special feeling. Um, I never in my wildest dreams thought that we'd still, you know, 20 years on riding BMX, be able to be still doing world's first. But we are literally in that stage due to all the bigger ramps and, and whatnot. Um, it's, it's enabling that, like there's places like Pastrana Land that have innovated the biggest ramps in the world so we can you know do more rotations go higher and get more airtime. Uh, and then our Willie you know, and his compound you know seeing all the world's first come out of that place is just unbelievable and then the Franklin farm at home to have that for the Kiwis it's it's a really neat special feeling and I think it's just a, a, a natural progression a natural evolution of the sport and it's really neat and to be at the stage of it and be kind of at the forefront of um, yeah, building the bigger ramps and going bigger, it's, it's a really special feeling. To land a world first in general, let alone in front of a crowd, is just one of the most special feelings. It's, it's, especially for yourself personally, all the hard work and like all the passion that you've put into it and riding over the years. And then, yeah, and then to bring it together and have the opportunity to even do it in front of a crowd is a whole nother experience altogether. So, it's a, yeah, it's, it's what we live for. 